There are a number of things that are shaping the global economy right now. Um, we have the continuing momentum of technology. Uh, we have the continued progress towards global economic integration. Both of these factors, of course, change the nature of competition, making it more unpredictable and more dynamic. Unfortunately, we also have a side effect, which is increasing inequality of opportunity within countries, which is driving political outcomes, populist politics, which is actually then influencing economic uh, instability uh, globally. The sort of turbulence we've been talking about is, of course, in absolute terms, uh, an obstacle, a disadvantage to companies. But the point is, it's a disadvantage to all companies, and it still leaves open the question of competitive advantage. So how could we use these events to our own individual competitive advantage? I think there are a number of ways. Uh, one way is what I call adaptive advantage, which is we can adapt to change more accurately, faster, and at lower cost than our competitors, and we will be competitively advantaged even if we are inconvenienced by change. A second way is what you might call a visionary advantage, um, which is actually uh, not to be the victim of disruption, but actually to be the source of disruption, um, to actually uh, be the innovator, to, to, to be this disruptor. And the third way is uh, what you might call collaborative or shaping advantage, uh, which is actually to uh, influence others, influence ecosystems, influence policymakers, uh, create new narratives, and essentially socially shape circumstances rather than have them shape you. We can help clients with current global conditions in a, in a number of ways. Uh, one of them is by bringing the new approaches to strategy, uh, which essentially is thinking about strategy and business in different ways. A second way is to build the capabilities required to be able to execute those approaches to strategy. And I'm thinking in particular about the capability of adapting to changing circumstances and the capability of shaping environments. Uh, we can also bring uh, the capability of uh, what I call ambidexterity, um, so the ability to write with both hands, or in the case of strategy, the ability to deploy contrasting approaches in different parts of the company at the same time. A fourth way in which we can help is to look at not only the, uh, the competitive advantage of the company's game, but also to look at the resilience of that game, to look at uh, how brittle or fragile the game is uh, to uh, unforeseen circumstances and help to improve the resilience of their systems.